Un me da poca vita va bene Si tu la parla pieza americano Quando si fa l'amore sotto la luna Un me da bene in cave di I love you Papa l'americano Welcome to the Wise Guy Kitchen. I'm your host, Vinny Fiore. And this week, our travels bring us to Boca Raton, Florida, where I'm going to surprise an old friend from New York, Maria, who came down here to open up one of the greatest Italian restaurants around, Boca Italiana. We're going to meet Maria, Chef Omar, and have ourselves a great, authentic Italian meal only at the Piccadilly Mall for Boca Italiana. And we'll be right back at the Wise Guy Kitchen. Maria! <laughs> What's you, going on? What's how new? How you doing? How's everything? Well, I heard you moved here to Boca, Florida. I did. And I wanted to come check it out. You got this beautiful place, Boca Italiana. I do. Thank hey, you. folks, those of you watching at home, Maria's an old friend from New York. I heard she's out in Boca Raton, Florida, with a beautiful restaurant, Boca Italiana. Italiana. So I surprised you by bringing my TV crew out here. And I heard you, you got a great... Guy? You got the Wise Guy Kitchen, that's right. I heard you got a great chef, Chef Omar. I do. So we're going to take a break, come back, and maybe you and the chef could cook me up something to eat. Absolutely. Would you mind if I jumped in the kitchen and cooked something Wise Guy it. style? I would love it. All right, folks, we'll be right back at the Wise Guy Kitchen here at Boca Italiana. Hey, my friends, I'm here in the kitchen of Boca Italiana. I'm going to get ready to meet a great chef, Chef Omar. He's going to cook up a couple of dishes. I'm going to cook up a couple of dishes. We're going to get started. Just to... What are you doing here? We're going to help you cook, boss. What are you, my sous chefs? Yeah, of course. What do you do with a cigar in the kitchen? It's not lip, boss. It's not against alcohol. Jeez. And what do you do? What did you eat? I'm not blowing my nose, whatever you think. No, what was that stuff we had earlier? Oh, uh, that was buffalo mutts. <laughs> you, you ate the buffalo mutts? <laughs> yeah. All right, here's what I need you to do. Well, I'm going to be the real <laughs> chef now, <laughs> Chef Omar. Okay? okay? If you guys don't mind, yeah. go into the other side of that kitchen. Sorry about that, folks. And I'm going to get Chef Omar over here. Chef Omar. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Chef. Chef Omar. Yes. How are you, man? How are you, man? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me here in your kitchen. You know, when I first got here, I see Bocca Italiana. And I walk in and I see this beautiful Frenchman. And I'm going, he's from France. He's going to cook me Italian food. But when I bit into that rigatoni, I'm telling you, it reminded me of Brooklyn. Oh, thank you. I'm great. You'll enjoy it. So what are we making today? Today we're going to make a chicken uh, Florentine. Chicken Florentine. Chef Omar of Boca Italiana in Boca Raton, Florida prepares Chicken Florentine, a wonderful chicken dish that originated in Florence, Italy. Usually any dish with the word a la Florentine means it's from Florence and will probably have spinach in it, just like this great chicken dish. So break it down, show me what we're doing here. We started with the chicken scallopini. Okay. The chicken scallopini. We're going to stuff it with the spinach. We're making some sauté spinach. So you're going to do a little sauté spinach? A little spinach, sauté spinach. You're putting a little olive oil in there? Yeah, we're doing olive oil, olive oil, olive oil. Just a little... Some onion? Some onion. So we're putting some fresh spinach, some onion, a little olive oil. Yeah. I put it in a slice of... Mozzarella cheese? Mozzarella cheese. Fresh prosciutto. Nice. I love prosciutto. Let's saute a little bit. Oh. A little, little salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. Let's saute a little bit. Let's saute a little bit. Let's saute a little bit. Very simple dish. You can do Very this at home. Very simple dish. You can make food at home. Flour. A little flour. Sliced chicken, very thin, scallopini style. Saute a little spinach with some onion, garlic, a little and, oil. And, yeah, and the same part, you make a saute chicken protein. And now you're going to saute your chicken, get it brown a little bit, right? Yes. Take a while. This one is there. 
Are you making a little sauce for that? The brown. We have some mushrooms, some eschalots. You love it, we get some... Ah, so we're making a little sauce with a marsala sauce, a little marsala, little onion, little mushroom, a little demi glaze. We're going to saute that nice and brown and finish it off in the oven? Yes. All right. All right, folks, when we come back, Chef Omar is going to put together the wonderful chicken florentine, Boca Italiana style. We'll be right back at the Wise Guy Kitchen. All right, folks, welcome back to the Wise Guy Kitchen. Hey, Chef, I think you told me we're going to make a veal piccata. Veal piccata is veal sautéed in a lemon caper sauce, a truly great dish. However, the origin of the piccata dish is hard to pin down. You see, in various parts of Italy, it may be called by different names. So the piccata became more of an Italian-American dish here in the United States. Let's go. What do we got? So we got to start by veal scallopini. A little veal scallopini. Little two veal scallopini. All right. Yeah. Okay, a couple of pieces of veal scallopini kind of sliced thin. Put them in a little flour. I put a little flour. Let's soak olive oil. A little olive oil in a nice hot pan. With the hot pan. And folks, if you really want to make your veal nice and tender, right, Chef? We you want to nice pound it a little bit. Pound it nice. We pound that to make nice and tender. Okay? So we brown it a little bit to saute. Nice color. You see? We have a nice color. You don't want to overcook it, just we leave it in there. Overcook. 30, 40 seconds on each side. 30, 40 seconds. Okay. We take a some cable. You can see over there. We put it a cable. We put a two nice Show that to them. artichoke. Some capers and some nice artichokes. Some nice artichokes. We back on the fire. Some white wine. White wine. With the glaze. With the glaze with the white wine. Little butter. A little butter. You got that? You got that? So yes. we got butter, white wine, capers, and artichoke hearts. And one or two of French sauce. Because that's sauce. French sauce. Now, that's a lemon and butter sauce. It's almost like what we would call a beurre blanc. We call, exactly. Right, a little lemon, butter, garlic. We did the cooking. Salt, Salt pepper. and pepper. Okay. What I really like about this dish is that most Italian restaurants make the veal piccata with a little butter sauce, yeah. some, um, some fresh capers, some fresh parsley or basil. But, but Chef here, Omar here, we made a unique twist to it by adding some artichokes exactly. and a little of the beurre blanc this sauce is, on it. Yeah, exactly. This is Boca Italiano style. Boca Italiano style, only here in Boca Raton, Florida. We don't leave it overcook the veal one minute or two minutes after your operation. So you take it off the fire, it's ready to go. Let's go, let's put it in the plate. Be nice. Now while you're doing that, I'm going to ask that young lady back there if she can get me a fork and a knife. You see, you put a knife, artichoke, the top. You make a little, reduce on the sauce a little bit, you know, to liquid. You want to make the sauce thick it up just little a little bit. A little bit thicken bit. up, just a little bit, to the water wine. Okay. A little parcel around. The chef is at work here. I make you one, one nice lemon. Get the lemon on the top. And that's it right here. That's it we right have veal, piccata, uh, bocca italiana, italiana style. Italian. And I'm going to dig into that. I know you cooked it, Chef, but you don't mind if I but taste it. Trust, but don't trust me, just try. <laughs> don't trust you, I trust you. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a try right now. Oh! Let me go. 
You know what the best part of my job is? I got my producer here, my director here, all the cameramen, the sound engineers, everyone. And I get to taste the food that Chef Omar made. <laughs> this is the best time. We'll be right back at the Wise Guy Kitchen. Hey folks, welcome back to the Wise Guy Kitchen. I'm still here in Boca Raton at Boca Italiana with my friend Chef Omar. Omar, as you remember, cooked us a couple of dishes. He made the chicken florentine. Yes, and, and the veal piccata. And the veal piccata. Now I'm gonna make you a dish called chicken caprese, wise guy style. Chicken caprese is a variation of a traditional salad called caprese, which originated in Capri, Italy, an island off the southern coast. Chef Vinny sautés the chicken breast in olive oil, then adds the diced Roma tomatoes and fresh mozzarella to create a very tasty and colorful dish. All right, folks, we're ready. We're going to start. Can I get a pan? Can I get a oh, pan? Oh. Here we Give go. A nice pan. Give, Give me a nice pan. pan. So we're going to start. I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to start with a little, a little olive oil in the pan. And Omar, if you don't mind, put a little bit of uh, butter in there for me, chef. Of course. It's here to have you. We're going to get the oil and the butter nice and hot. And I'm going to use two pieces of chicken breast that we actually pounded out. Yes. And we call scallopini, nice and thin. Okay, folks? How are we doing here, chef? We the hot. Are we yes. ready for that? There we go. There we go. Beautiful. While we're you cooking mean? that, we're gonna put a little salt and pepper on it. It's solid, yes. We'll let that cook. While Chef Omar keeps an eye on the chicken, I keep an eye on the chicken for you. I'm gonna go ahead and well. cut some fresh mozzarella up. I stack it like casino chips. You know, I spent a lot of time in Vegas. So I'm gonna cut up the mozzarella. You see that? All right. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna cut up a little bit of tomato. Now you can use any kind: beef steak. Roll them up, whatever you like. I like to cut them a little thick because I don't want to feel like I'm. I want to feel the tomato in the mozzarella. You don't feel the tomato. You don't want any chopped right. tomato. All right, we switch that over. Yeah. I'm going to shove some of my tomatoes right in here. Beautiful. There we go. A little, 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 little splash of white wine, if you could. Yes. A little splash of white wine. Thank you, Chef. Oh. Throw a little bit of garlic. Some fresh artichoke hearts. Now, if you remember, Chef Omar used the artichokes in the veal pagana. The veal pagana. And I'm going to use them in my caprese. So what we like to do at the Wise Guy Kitchen is use similar ingredients in yes. different dishes because you can have a lot of fun in the kitchen. Like that, we have a steady face. Right? Now, we're going to take some fresh mozzarella. And what I like to do is, I like to put half of it in and half of it I save. Because watch what we're going to do when we're done. It's a very fast dish. Back at the clubs in Brooklyn, the guys would always tell me, yo, Vinny, cook me something quick, because I got to run. Everybody's in a hurry. Hey, you never know when the feds are looking. Everybody in a hurry. All right. So now, can I borrow that, Chef? Of course. We're going to take a nice dish. See how fast that's cooked? It's a first move. It's an easy to do. It's an easy to do dish. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost easy forgot. Again. We're going to put some fresh arugula on the bottom. Our chicken breast on top, our mozzarella and tomato. I'm going to put a little bit more fresh mozzarella around it. Watch this, watch this. A little bit of fresh basil. Some fresh balsamic glaze. Chicken Caprese, Wise Guy style, only at the Wise Guy Kitchen and only at Boca Italiana in Boca Raton. I ate your food, now it's your turn to taste mine. No, I gotta test your food. 
to see how you think of that. Have fun, my chef. <laughs> I'm gonna take some. The chicken I gotta get some chicken too. I there you go. There we go. I don't see you eating no chicken. You better hurry up in there. Hold on. Don't know why. Hold on. He's got it. Good. I can't believe it. So, folks, come on out to Boca, Boca Italiana, and don't forget, tune in every week mm. to watch the Wise Guy Kitchen Show. And you'll see me, Chef Vinny Fiore, and also my special guest, like Chef Omar. Mm. You like that? Chef, I like it. I love Thank you, brother. You. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see much. you next week on the Wise Guy Kitchen. Guy Kitchen. Join us each week as we bring to you our favorite family recipes from our table to yours. Let me tell you something. You're the type of person that likes those big 14 inch dinner plates with two ounces of food and change the channel because this is not the show for you. You see here at the Wise Guy Kitchen we cook plenty of food. We cook for family, we cook for friends, but most of all we cook with attitude. So join us as we go on our adventure. We're going to visit local restaurants, local markets, local shops, and maybe a few wise guy hangouts. This week, we're in Lago, Florida. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. What are they doing in the Sunshine State? Well, Carmine and Louie here wanted to take the sun. Hey, how you doing? Relax. How you doing? Relax. So let me tell you something. We're visiting the house coffee shop at the Outback Plaza Steakhouse in Lago, Florida. We're going to sample some of the finest cappuccinos and lattes, make a few desserts, have a couple of sandwiches. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned as we go inside. Come on, fellas. Let's go do some work. Okay, sure, boss. Hey, folks. We're here at the Sunshine State at the House Coffee Shop, a beautiful little place that's known for their specialty coffees. Lattes, cappuccinos, you name it, they got it. Right, boys? Right, right boss. boss. Sorry, boss. Sorry, boss. Don't call me boss. Hey Paisans, I'm here with Mike DeFelice, co-owner of the House Coffee Shop, and we're standing by this great espresso machine. It looks like this came right out of Italy. Definitely did. Came right out of Venice. Almost out of Venice. Almost sunk one of them. Almost sunk one of them? Really? Well, this is beautiful. I mean, it's awesome. And I noticed you got a tower full of beans here. Uh, this is our grinder. It's actually the most important part, even over the espresso machine itself. Uh, we get our beans from uh, Buddy Brew Coffee out of Tampa. It's a nice family-owned business. So we're local, we try and get from local people and keep it local in general. So. Well, it makes sense. I mean, you're a local business cook with love. So here's the deal. Carmine, Louie, you know, my guys that you met earlier, they love coffee. They can drink coffee all day long. I like a good cup of sugar-free vanilla latte. You think you can make me one of those? I can make you a whole bowl. A whole bowl? I'll be whole happy bowl. with one cup. Matter of fact, I'll pick the cup. That's the cup I want. Are we ready? By getting a nice portion of ground coffee. And that's coming right out of that roasting machine you got there, huh? Uh, right out of the grinder, yes. The grinder. It's uh, nice and fresh. Want to give it a smell? Man, I wish you guys could smell what this uh, smells like. It's smell-o-vision. Yeah, so what are you doing now? Right now I'm just evenly distributing the coffee grinds across the whole porta filter, And I'm going to use this, the tamper right here, to go ahead and pack it all down. Can I try that? Yeah, go for so it. So let me ask you something. You know, people have like small espresso machines at home. They should actually do the, the same method as you're doing right now. Certainly. Pack it down. Now, the harder you pack it down, does that make the coffee a little stronger or? Uh, kind of in a sense. There's different variables that will make the coffee Did stronger, I do that right? Weaker. No, I yeah. did that wrong. No, that was perfect. Look at that, huh? I'm a barista. Not like the master himself, but I'm getting there. Okay, so now what? Start pouring some espresso. Wait, a touch of a button? Just a touch of a button. I mean, there's much more to it. That's the easiest part. Well, I could, I could press a button for sure. All the other stuff, I'll leave up to you. Now, the second Whoa. most important part of the latte, sorry about that, is going to be some perfectly steamed milk. You need just the right amount of foam at a perfect texture. Well, it makes sense to put hot milk with the hot coffee. Oh, yeah. Because if you put cold milk, you're going to make it cold. Yeah, nobody likes that. I don't like that. It's an Italian-style that. thing. Certainly. I know my mom used to do that when we were growing up. She'd always heat up the milk. All right, so now. Make sure we stay clean. Look at that. Could you steam a towel like that? Because Louis needs a shave. 
Yeah, you could. Uh, it would work actually quite well. All right, so let me see what you do. You got, is that like one shot of espresso or two? This is a double shot of a Cubano style espresso at that. Cubano style yes, espresso. Sir. So it's nice and dark, extra wow. rich. And I'm just going to pour the milk nice and slowly. Look at that. I kind of go for this swirl just to uh, keep the crema of the espresso on top. So you get a nice mixture of foam as well as the darkness from the coffee. And uh, hopefully get a little bit of uh, a Monet or well, some sort of Van Gogh. Well, look at that. That's a beautiful leaf. The way you were shaking that, uh, what do you call this? Oh, it's the pitcher. Oh, there you go. Pitcher, pitcher with milk. You created a leaf. For a minute, I thought I saw Elvis in here. Hold on. Not half bad? Oh, man, that's good. You don't mind if my boys take a shot? No, no. Have hey, try it. Louie, come on. Get in here. You got to try this. And you make all kinds of flavors? Also you do like stuff. hazelnut, amaretto, all of that? All of it. Get up there, boss. What's up? Try this, coffee. You guys like coffee. You can't smoke a cigar inside the guy's place. I'm not smoking it, boss. I'm holding it. Well, try the coffee. I got it. Hey, listen. They better like this, because if not, you're in trouble. What do you think? Coffee, not wine. Mm. Just yeah, what are, you, mm. what are you doing? Mm. Nice. Bad, Mikey. A sugar-free like vanilla mm. latte from the House Coffee Shop mm. in Largo, Florida. You know what, Mikey? All of our friends that are close to us, and you're one of our closest friends now because you took care of us. We gotta get. We can't let them leave without giving them a wise guy name. Awesome. Could you guys think of something? Mikey. Mikey. Coffee. Mikey. Coffee. Mikey. Mikey Beans. Just to be with her alone, Angelina. Angelina, the waitress at the pizzeria. Surprise! Eat deep all your penny. Angelina, I adore you. Deep all your penny. I'm looking at him this time. Angelina, I adore you. And passione! You have set the heart on fire. Mark Angelina never listens to my song. Ah! When she serves me her spaghetti, there's no way that I'll forget Angelina. Angelina, the waitress at the pizzeria. If she'll be my caramia, then I'll join in matrimony. With a girl who serves Pomoni, and Angelina will be mine. Mwah! Thank you! Oh, ma da porta vichita va bene. Si tu la parla pieza americano. Quando sa fa l'amore sotto luna. Oh, ma da venen cave di ailo.